I'm with Gear from the BB8 Builders Club. Uh, Gear, tell us a little bit about the BB8 Builders Club and what you're doing here at Celebration Europe. Well, we're trying to show off some of our work that we do to try to, uh, to make replicas of the real BB-8 from the movie. Uh, we are a young club that started a year ago, about. Yeah. So the aim is to build a fully functional BB-8, is that right? Well, we, have, we can approach the BB-8 a little different than we do with the r 2 So we can uh, 3D print uh, the parts so it's, it's more available for more people to do uh, if they want to do a static one or if they want to go the full length with all the automation stuff. So I, it, it's something for everybody, for a family, with kids to do together and, and, and go all the way on, as they evolve on, on the knowledge. When we saw BB-8 for the first time in that original Force Awakens teaser trailer, I think most people, including myself, presumed it was CGI. And then, of course, we had Celebration in Anaheim last year where BB-8 was rolled onto the stage and we, we witnessed for the first time that this was actually a practical event. Did that amaze you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the hair was racing and uh, it was really, really nice to see the gesture and everything that they made. It's fantastic. Do you think it could be possible then for you guys to build a fully functional BB-8? Well, we were lucky yesterday to see the, the original red carpet version, how they did the, the, everything inside on a small video on one of the talks yesterday. So now we need to sit down and watch it again and again and find the parts. And then we will, in a month or two, maybe find it and, and do it as well. And what makes BB-8 so unique? Why is it more difficult to, to get your head round to create than an R2 unit, for example? Well, R2 unit is... Uh, it's more driven on a on a uh, or on a tank system. It's, it's it has wheels and motors, while this uh, R2D2 will have some kind of drive system in inside a ball. And there's several approaches, like you have the Spirithoys, who has uh, the hamster wheel, which is a wagon that runs inside, or where we are going to an axle with a heavy weight and, and a motor. So this. Uh, it's a whole level of different uh, different uh, challenges than, than the r 2 do. Slightly different, but equally as impressive. We have a Lego BB-8 down here. What can you tell me about this Lego BB-8? Yeah, Laura and Sean Steele has made this Lego, and they have also made a, a full-size r 2 do as well before. Uh, do you know how it, long it made? made uh, no, I'm not sure. They started in April 2015, they say, but uh, this is 11,000 Lego bricks. I mean, it's... 11,000 Lego bricks. Yeah. Wow. It's hollow. It's supposed to be running at some time. So we will see. A fully functional Lego BB-8 then could be in the uh, offering uh, one day. So talk me through what we have over here. We've got the various components of, of BB-8 on your desk here. Well, this is James Bruton's uh, third version. He was one of the first to build uh, a running one. Uh, he's on YouTube, so you can see all his projects there. So this is his third version that he's done, and this is fully operational. So this runs. Have you ever considered cheating and getting like a giant hamster in there to operate it for you? Well, that has been one of the solutions that I was thinking. But some of us that already have built r 2 and doing the aluminum version wants to do we want to do it as close as the real thing, of course, and, and get all the small facts and things that the BB-8 is known for, the swagging antenna and all the, the nice stuff. And the personality is important. Of course, of course. I mean, what would, what would BB-8 be without this? Wagging his tail along, I mean, it's incredible. It's like a robotic dog. Yeah. Well, Gear from the BB-8 Builders Club, I wish you well uh, in your quest to build a fully functional uh, BB-8 uh, and thank you for talking to me. Oh, you're welcome. So now I've learned all there is to know about building a BB-8, I'm going to make my very own. Gear's given me a, a hard hat here, safety first, and uh, this staff, apparently that's all I'll need.